Well, if you're okay, then I'm okay. I think we're okay. Uh, okay, we're okay. <laughs> hey, okay, everybody. Here we hey, are. program. TV. Happy Easter. Yeah, we're once a day, every day, turn on the machines, and we start talking. We're going to be here for an hour. It's the Easter special today. We got some Easter stuff. We got some Easter yeah. burritos, some Easter oh, yeah. carl. One of the eggs? You want an egg? Uh, no, I'm vegetarian. Oh, uh, that's okay. They're plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Put a bump. Vegetari vegetarians can eat eggs, right? Yeah, I don't want to promote the egg industry, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> do, you, do you like eggs, Carl? Or is that, you, do you think they're kind of meaty? I think they're kind of meaty, you know? I don't think you, vegetarians should be eating eggs, maybe. Uh, well, they came from birds, and the ba an egg is a future bird, yeah. potentially. Potential bird. Oh, no. this mic. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep it under control. I'm sorry out there. Oh. It's hard to keep under control. Whoa. Everything's a little out of control right now. The wild one. Well, you gotta hold the mic kind of sideways. Like, or like, yeah, yeah. There it goes. Oh. Okay. Mhm. Mm Charlie's got a bone over here. He's. Uh, down on it, he's being a good dog. Yeah. And here we are on the couch. We're going to talk for an hour. See how it goes. Turn on the machines. See what happens. Yeah, Carl's back after after your one one day break. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're, you're just so irresistible, Kenny. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Carl. I don't swing that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're glad to have you. Especially on a special day like this where we celebrate out of fertility and uh, or something. Yeah, what are we supposed to do? I mean, on Easter... Wouldn't uh, that be like Venus? I didn't like get any... some sort of Salvador Dali like oh, painting or that'd whatever? that'd be good. I thought it was maybe some kind of pagan god or... I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. Not I a bunny, probably. That's that's a little bit silly. I didn't get any ham. Nope. That's what I was thinking about doing earlier. Got steak. Steak burrito. Uh oh So you went to that taco truck? Yeah, the taco truck. Awesome. Yeah, yeah the there. best one. But I don't think you can eat anything there, Carl. It's all, everything's got lard in it. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they got like a um, something across the street there at that Shell gas station. Oh, yeah. I actually, I think I might have been in there once. Do you like that spot? Oh, the, the place across the street from Yeah, I, I can order something without meat. And she's like, okay. Oh, it's yeah. probably got lard in it, though. Oh, well. Hey, don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me these things, bro. No. Yeah, exactly. You never know. Uh, I, I noticed today that the taco truck says veggie, veggie burrito, not vegetarian burrito. Oh, so, that's good. So they're not trying to fool anybody. I think ignorance is bliss. Yeah. And hey, there are vegetables in there, you know, so at least you're halfway there. It's like the right main parts of the food and maybe some of the cooking ingredients, like, you know, but Lard is like butter. It's, like it's used to uh, get the pan all ready and stuff. Or maybe, maybe I'll just have um, one of Charlie's bones and I'll oh, be okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Charlie likes that. He's He hasn't said a single thing since he got that. But, Carl, that's made out of rawhide, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <I think. laughs> Don't tell me these things. Don't tell me these things. Some people like that whole raw diet, though, you know. Some people eat raw food all the time. Probably not raw hide, I guess. Are you, you guys seen anything on the streets there in the last couple of days? Or? Let's see. On the streets. On the streets. On the streets. On the streets. You know, uh, nothing Nothing of too much consequence, I guess. I, I uh, wish I could think of something. Just walked, lots of walking, and lots of uh, lots of other people just kind of getting by and doing what they need to do, going on their way, not getting in anybody's business. So um, I think that's also kind of good, you know. Maybe I didn't see anything bad happen anyway. All's well. It's, it's supposed to be uh, every other Sunday, John Sunday, but he is sick, out sick today. We talked to him earlier. So, yeah. Whoa. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, we gotta get some uh, repair of the mic. I don't know that one's been buzzing like that. So when there's more than two people, it gets uh, crazy. Mm. Whoa. 
Yeah. I'm looking at the messages here. You guys can call in and leave a message. The number is right up there. It's 330-536-302. That's the number, and it will directly call the phone that we have here in the studio, the studio line. And uh, if we're not live, which only you know, that happens 23 out of every 24 hours, but we... Uh, we will get a message, and that's what we're doing right now, checking the messages that other callers who are watching the TV, just like you are out there, viewer, they're watching the show, called in, and uh, now you get to hear their voice on television, so you can do it too. We got a message here from Lisa, it's probably regarding uh, the, our live show. Oh, yeah. On Saturday, this April 6th. Yep, Let's yep. see what you have to say about it. Saturday. Oh, it's not plugged oh, in. Oh, it's not plugged not in. Not plugged in. Uh, oops, got to get that this plugged in. This is the only in. message we got today. You guys have been doing other stuff. Maybe it's been, people have been having some good times out there, partying and stuff um, on the Saturday, Saturday night. Not watching, uh -oh. watch the program. We'll call the number. E microphone. Hey, Kenny, it's Lisa. Um, I just got off the subway. I'm walking in Brooklyn. I got your message. Uh, I, I think that was you, or it might have been Freddie, I couldn't tell. Um, no, I haven't seen the Statue of Liberty, um, but I want to get rid of my CCTV show. I just, it's like not realistic. I'm not really going to do it while I'm here. And I feel really bad, but I, and I don't know how to tell CCTV that I don't, that I can't come through on the contract. You can definitely have my slot. Um, yeah, thanks for taking care of Charlie. I'll talk to you later. There he is. We're taking care of him. He's got a bone. So that means we can at least have the spot to go live on, on that Saturday. There's also an open spot with lasagna, the lasagna program. Maybe we should we should make the lasagna program while Lisa's gone. We gotta. Yeah, it's, it's definitely meat. It's definitely real meat. And uh, when, when did you stop eating meat, Carl? Uh, yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. I remember that. Oprah told you to stop eating yeah, meat. Yeah, and Oprah you did it. told me personally. When was that? Yeah, you haven't been eating meat since 94? Was your... Is your family supportive of you not eating meat? Some people get mad. Hello? Hey. Hey, John. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm eating soup. What kind of soup? Uh, chicken soup. That's good. So you're you're sick. You're, it's your day to be here. What? It's yeah. Your, yeah. How long ago did we start? What time did we start? Yeah. We started about five minutes ago. Okay. Um, I might I might be able to make it up there. I'll see if I can do it. Oh yeah. Well, don't don't. If you're feeling sick, you should stay in bed or whatever. But you can. Yeah. We can. We'll see. Um. What what's uh what kind of sick are you? If you don't mind me asking. Um, I don't know. Just like I think it's like a sinus and throat thing mostly. I I had like um body body pain stuff, but that's not not doing that anymore. What are you What are you doing to uh, try to remedy it? Um, I'm sleeping a whole lot and. Drinking a lot of liquid and taking some like tinctures yeah. and eating good food. Tinctures. I guess that's about it. You gotta drink. You gotta drink more water than you think you should. You know, you gotta. I think when you're sick, you just gotta be like chugging that water, even if you think you've had enough water to keep drinking it. You know. Yeah, I've been drinking water like I have a, a, like a quart jar or whatever at my house. And whenever it's empty, I just fill it up. Yeah, nonstop. You gotta see that shit. Uh, <laughs> it's time for the dice game. <laughs> dice game? Mm-hmm. 
It's the first one. Let's get out a pen here. Uh, viewers, get out a pen. And then uh, we're going to write a number on our heads between 1 and 6. And, uh, and then we're going to roll a dice here and try to visualize the future. Charlie gets to 3. Here we go. Oh, um, this pen is not working too well. You see a better pen? Oh, Carl's using the nasty pen. That's the, the, uh, the what's it called from the, the marker, the, the dry erase board pen. is not the best pen, I think, Carl. It kind of stinks. Oh, did you use it anyway? He did, yeah. Oh, okay, this pen's working now. Well, well, it goes on the fingernail, and that's fine. Oh, all right, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna wipe off too. And Freddie likes it too, so. <laughs> okay. Who's, who's, Here we go. Who's on the show? Uh, Carl, Carl and Freddie. Uh oh, happy Easter. <laughs> oh yeah, what, what do you, did I ask you, what do you do for Easter? Are you gonna do anything? Well, I don't know yet. Uh, oh, it's a six! Um, six! Freddy won! Hooray! Oh, did you hear that, John? Wait. I, it's a six. What was the number? Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. What, do you, what number do you think it was? I picked four. Oh, no, it's a six. It's I a picked four also. Oh. Uh, Team four loses. Um, um I picked hey, four I'm as gonna, well. I'm gonna eat my soup and then I'm gonna call you back. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. My family used to get, uh, when I was very young, we went to Easter egg hunts, and uh, just because I think they were public and they're fr maybe free in public, so we went to them and uh, got some prizes from the city and stuff. But then, after I was too old for Easter egg hunts, we just I guess forgot about Easter after that. We just didn't even do anything after everybody, after all, all my siblings and were old enough to not go to those Easter egg hunts, and then we just didn't do anything. Sometimes my mom would make ham. She, uh, yeah, ham and. What are you saying, bro? Would you not go to the like, this stuff? Mm-mm. We're the LBA Park. I don't know if they're still doing that out there in LBA Park. Yeah, in Washington, D.C. It's not on. Is it on? Is the switch on? Hello? Is the switch on? I think it's number... How about now? Hello? Oh? Hello? Is the switch on? It's it's on. Oh, oh, now it's on. Wow, that's awkward. Yeah, um, it's now it's really on. So, I never went to the White House. Have you ever been, have you ever been there before? Uh, mm, well, I uh, yeah, actually, I went to the White House. We um, we took uh, car trips um, when I was uh, living in uh, hey, Charlie, <coughs> the state of Wisconsin. How'd you eat that so fast, dog? Um, he's a pro. Yeah. He's a dog, bro. I mean, wolf, did you, wolf. Did you see the president? Uh, no, the, the president at that time had to been Reagan. Um, and I did not see Ronald Reagan. That's probably a good thing, because he don't need, um, another... Happy Easter! You don't, you don't like Reagan? Well, no, Republicans are, are kind of... You think so? That's, I think that's a generalization. <laughs> yeah. You think? Anyway. Whoa. Um, uh, my parents and I took uh, um, road trips to um, uh, the Florida Everglades and, and uh, Washington, D.C., and we went to Yellowstone National Park before um, coming out to Washington State. So that's kind of why, you know, in a certain sense that, you know, I kind of liked to, you know, go on this road trip uh, to California. I probably won't do something like that, you know, or, or go on a road trip at all for, you know, my, maybe five or ten more years. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about maybe I just needed to get that out of my blood. So. <laughs> Did you go on Easter? Oh, no, I, I, you know, I don't know if it was like a spring break or it was a summer break, but we definitely went down to Florida, you know, oh, yeah. for summer, I'm sure. But not for Easter? Did you well, see a alligator or did they have crocodiles? Which one did they have there? Well, we went to Cypress Gardens. Oh. And, and do, do you know what Cypress Gardens is? That's a, I think so. It's a, kind of like a theme park or? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. 
Yeah. And it has gardens too, though, right? The, like real gardens. Like well, lots of yeah, it, it, it was kind of like um, you had like uh, um, people in water skis. Whoa. And um, you know they formed a pyramid, human pyramid, wow. from water skis. Yeah. No way. Where are they actually going? And like some of them are not standing on skis at all. They're just standing on the people. On shoulders. Oh yeah. man. Wow. Seems dangerous. I saw some Cirque du Soleil stuff on a commercial today, and it was looked crazy. They were flipping somebody. You know how you, you play that game where you, one of the person one person was on the ground and they have their feet up, and the other person like puts <laughs> their stomach on their feet, and then you like fly them around like an airplane. You know? Yeah. You know that game. It was like that, but they were flipping the person in full body flips. They're just like Whoa. flip, flip, flip. Wow. So it's amazing what the human body can do if people are you know creative enough. Yeah. Well, we also went to, uh, you know, the Florida Keys, I believe, or Walt Disney World. Yeah, so. Oh, you got a, um, uh, a thing of lard, too, huh? I did. Oh, yeah, gosh. burritos. What it, well, when, when, I, when I get the appetite, I, I ran over here, you know, because I, I, I need to get exercise, of course. Uh, that's a good walk or a run. Yeah, yeah, so um, I'm going to walk back home, and maybe I'm going to um, um, be um, somewhat, you know, negative in terms of hunger. Y you know, if you, if you like, you know, w walk for three miles or, you know, run for three miles or something like that, then you, um, um, your hunger is somewhat diminished. Uh, is it? Yeah. It's not raised? I always build up quite an appetite. Yeah. Know. Oh, you, you build an appetite through walking? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, you use all your energy. You need food. Isn't that what food is for? Well, the, yeah, that's what food is for if you're, like, you, you know, if you're doing mild exercise. But uh, oh, if, yeah. you're, if you're just, like, you know, um, I don't know how to explain it, but, you know, I, I, you know, I'm kind of an odd cat anyway. Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, you know, it, it's different for everybody. I definitely think that if I am in the middle of doing something, I forget that I am hungry. But when I stop, I get hungry maybe. But I, I think that definitely you, you do have, like, when you're in the middle of it. Like, if you're in a marathon, you're not, like, thinking about food, you know. Yeah, well, physical exercise... Makes me want to eat food, I think. Um. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, come here. Come here. Go, go to come call, here. Charlie. Come here. Come here. Oh, go around. Why don't you go around the table, Charlie? Yeah, call him in the back call. Don't call him in the front through the front because there's too many wires and stuff. Um, yeah, what kind of did you get? Is there anything in those eggs? Is it got chocolate in there or anything? Oh, uh, there's some stuff in the eggs. There's a couple things. Okay. Uh oh. Let's see here. There's some Easter stuff. Maybe we should hide it. Maybe here, is it dripping? What's that? Oh, uh, maybe your burrito might be dripping. It's kind of got some nice, uh, large. We should we should put like a treat in the in the egg and see if Charlie can find it or something. Oh, that's a good idea. We can get one. We got a blue one here. What is that noise? Oh, is it? Was that the info time? No. Look, info time. Are you guys ready? Here are answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with Me. It's a call-in television talk show that's filmed right here in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Well, it only appears. Well, it airs every night at 11:30. You're awesome, Freddy. <laughs> so if you're watching. At 11:30 p.m., this episode came the same weekday of the previous week. Yes. Episode taped the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can be on the program, especially, especially you. We <coughs> rely on the community for content, so give us a call at this number and we'll leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thank you for watching, and now back to the program. Your daily hour with Yeah. Oh, it's Easter Dog. He's here to give you eggs in the basket. <laughs> yeah, um, whoa. <laughs> nothing, in <that> <laughs> nothing in that one. What's in the basket? Yeah, we're going to find this thing. Maybe Charlie's got a treat. Are, are you, are you sure that uh, Charlie uh, likes that? Oh, what's that? A spider. 
We're looking through the egg basket here. Oh, it's oh. Charlie's treat. There it is. Yeah. Oh, Charlie likes that. You got a treat in the egg. Um, what did what did did you <coughs> go to church or anything, Carl? When you're at traditional, did your family have Easter tradition? No, just brunch. But you know, I never did that. I'm uh, the, well. The, uh, I guess the, um, you know, talking to brunch about brunch is you know kind of like a good thing now that you know you're kind of eating. Yeah. That's a that's like a tradition. Lots of people's tradition they go to brunch on Easter. I always think that these days when when you're supposed to go out and like do restaurant things like Mother's Day or even like Christmas or stuff like when when there's like a lot of people doing the same thing that we should just do it on different days and we should maybe like stagger it out like maybe based on our names or something you know but then again everybody can't participate at the same time but really clog stuff up you know I bet on Easter lunch everybody's clogged up you go out there and everybody's there and you're trying to get your stuff done and everybody's out there eating at the same time and for real bro you're like oh man why didn't if you just eat eat the next day there'll be nobody there yeah let alone the whole traffic issue you know yeah yeah that that kind of reminds me of the state workers um at the um 101 interchange yeah (laughs) you know everyone gets out at 330 yeah or 331 and instantly deadlocked for two hours yeah why don't they stagger them you know, well, um, you could probably ask ask the state government that, you know, or the or the city government. Why don't you stagger that? We could put in, in try to put in some kind of a law to fix traffic. I but I was I was gonna ask something about you know whether or not you know Charlie feels like a tool, in in terms of having that Easter egg basket around his neck. What? You think the Easter Bunny is a tool? <laughs> no, Charlie would be a tool. Because yeah, you know, he, he would have, you know, be serving, you know, like, the you know, the, the basket. Oh, yeah. I like to think <laughs> that Charlie, Charlie's looking for a purpose. He's, uh, he's got sled dog in his blood, you know, so he, um, part husky, he wants probably to have some kind of a job. Uh, oh, well, what's that in the head egg, Charlie. Are you teasing him? You're going to go for it? Cause is cheesing the dog over there. Charlie, there's there's look at that egg. There's nothing in that egg, though, right? It's festive, Charlie. Do you understand Charlie. festivities? <laughs> it's a holiday. I'm getting teased a bit. Let's call Dan Bennett. He's scheduled for the program tomorrow. We'll see if he's going to show up today. Or tomorrow, anyway. Whoa! Yeah, he had a... I wonder how he's feeling. It was his birthday yesterday. Maybe he's uh, hungover. Yeah, he had a party. Charlie was there too, yeah. Did you, did your family have an uh, Easter tradition? Whoa. Uh, let's see, I did do the whole Easter egg hunt thing, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, at home? Where's Charlie's leash? We've done that, well, Charlie's leash is by the door. Uh, my family, they definitely hid egg. I remember many times uh, making eggs. Boiled eggs. Uh huh. You boil eggs and what then you, you get to paint them up. Why? Well, maybe he wants to take a walk. Charlie might want to take a walk. You're gonna take him for a walk, Carl. Was gonna take Charlie for a Sneaky. walk, I guess. Why are you around the block? No, just you know, out the out the stairs. Out the stairs? He looks like. Oh. All he's right. a little bit distracted. There goes Charlie and Carl. All right. Uh, okay. Is that. One of those cameras? Nope. All right. Well, um, yeah. No. But we, uh, you know, we we would paint them up. Do the. I think. I think my family often really appreciated the arts and crafts side of holidays. So, you know, we would, we would do the pumpkins thing on Halloween. You know, carve up a pumpkin together. Dip. Uh, dip the eggs. That was actually pretty great. You know, you get the little wire thing that you like slip an egg in there and then you hold it under the the dye for a certain amount of time and then you pull it back out and it's colored. And then you still get to eat them. And then, yeah, they would hide them. My parents would hide them in the morning uh, outside the house. I don't remember doing many that were, uh, you know, sponsored by uh, churches or whatever, other Easter egg hunt things. But I do remember, yeah, just the yard, you know, hunting eggs in the yard with my sister. So that's it. That was good, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if they still do the thing at LBA Park when they have those little... Uh they had prizes and eggs, so when you opened up, there was a piece of paper in there, you get when people won bikes and stuff. Yeah. 
I want some toy, I a think. A bike? You can win a whole you bike? You want a bike, yeah. Wow. And they, fit, they, don't, they can't fit a bike in there because they put little uh, coupon things in there. They put a miniature bike. Oh, the it door's pretty, open. I'm yeah. Gonna, we'll close the door, maybe. Those kids were uh, pretty vicious, too. I remember, I think, when you, they call out the thing, those kids are pushing each other around, trying to get all the eggs they can and stuff. It gets pretty uh, crazy. I don't know what else I want to do today. Maybe we should call convenience stores. We could call some in, uh... Oh, in, uh... You could ask if they have eggs. Oh yeah, you guys got any, they got any Easter stuff. Have an egg? Oh, hard boiled. Some of the, some people have hard boiled eggs in like the wrap, the pre wrapped hard hard boiled eggs. It's individually wrapped? Yeah. Let's call uh, let's call uh, California, I guess. Uh, we're in California. Let's see. How about uh, Death Valley? Death Valley is that a city? Mm. You so think it'll come up on the thing? No, probably the closest. Maybe the closest one. They definitely have maybe convenience stores because, you know, that's pretty yeah. much maybe all they got. I think Death Valley goes into Nevada maybe too. It does. It's the it's kind of like the middle ground. Yeah, here we go. Okay, Death Valley. Let's see if we're going to find, if we're going to be. Oh, yeah, it's got, it's got a thing on here. It might be a kind of a city too. Cool. Convenience stores. Convenience. C-O-N. V-I-E-N. V E N V E N V E N I E N. Here it is. C O N V E N I E N C. I I wrote it down on the table because I could never spell it right. So. Oh, that's what that means. I've been wondering. I thought that maybe you call that one number that's written next to it for convenience. No, it's it's to spell convenience. I see. That's a that's actually. I bet I bet there's some other viewers who have been wondering about that. V V. What is that convenient phone number? It's, yeah. it's just for spelling. Yeah, I like it now. Uh -oh. Sense. oh, they're back. You, wanna, you can look up his leash now. They're, in, they're inside. You can if you want. There's room for everyone on this couch, especially you, viewer. Here we go. It's called... Uh, whoa, what the... Oh, okay. This so is... is biting the string. Mic string. Uh, I was kind of surprised. Charlie doesn't lift his leg up at all, so is Charlie actually a girl? No, yeah. he, well, he has no balls. Oh. Well, he kind of squatted, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Charlie doesn't lift his leg up. Sometimes he does, though. It's it's up and down. It depends. This place okay. is called Ed's Mini Mart. It's in Ridgecrest, California. Ridgecrest. Death Valley. I don't eat the hardboard legs. They, I don't, they, they're Sit. weird to me. Sit. You guys ever have a, a rabbit for a pet? Oh. Maybe no, hey, let go, 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 Carl, what are you doing? Don't, you need to hold him while he's inside. Let's let him walk around. Oh, Charlie. Yeah, let's let him walk around. Let go of his leash. Let's take him off his leash. Okay. Haha, uh -huh. Charlie's dighty. Good buddy. Oh. Everything's okay? The waves are still going? We got a leash on the here. We but you can't. Why don't they make a leash that's also a Hello? video of the Oh. Hello? No. It was Echo. Echo. Ed's Mini Mart. Hi, Ed's Mart. Do you, you guys have hard boiled eggs right now? Hold on a second. Okay. Gotta check. Sorry, Charlie. I'm sort of in the middle of this eating thing. I didn't hear you. Do you guys have those like pre packaged hard boiled eggs? No. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh huh. They do not. They don't have them. Yeah, those are weird though, you know? I feel like eggs are a thing that maybe do eggs last long or are they not last long? Uh, I yeah, I don't know because I don't. I'm kind of you know not even. I don't oh, yeah. deal with you eggs don't at all. Eggs. Deal really, with eggs. that's that's one of my that's one of Cedar's good. Uh, he taught me how to eat eggs. They're in a. Um, I heard that they're pretty good. They last pretty long if you don't if you don't crack them. If they're sealed up in there, it's like it's its own own packaging. They stay pretty fresh. And the people mm -hmm. are, you know, rotten eggs are horrible, so I think, I, I'm pretty worried about them. I don't really eat too many eggs either. I like to put them in stuff, though. They're good, you know, binder in, in foods and stuff. Yeah, food binding. But I don't really like to eat them by itself, but if they're if they're in their whole shell and the shell is not compromised, then they can last pretty long. It's nature's, uh, uh, what it called, uh, when food lasts a long time. Oh, nature's preservative, pantry. Yeah. Oh. Nature's pantry, preservative, yeah. I was thinking of preservative. Nature's... Oh. Nature's, oh yeah, preservative, the shell is, huh, and the yeah. little membranous uh, inside. 
maybe we need to kind of figure out there's uh, some sort of dog bed that Charlie could actually be in. Oh. Well, you know, you know, you know like I'm wandering around? Well, not, not that, it, you know, you, he hurts me. He impedes you, actually. Oh, uh, he does knock over gear. That's, that's fun. Good. That's fun, though. <laughs> oh, no. If Charlie didn't knock over gear, what would we even do on the show? Oh, I don't know. I enjoy the parts where he uh, he knocks this thing off. This is the one that helps us switch cameras. Uh, you know, I switch to that camera. There's Charlie's. Switch back to this camera. There we are again. Sometimes he'll knock that off, and then, oh, everything falls apart, and then we can't even see. Here, let me get the phone for you. I'll let you roll call. I'm going to switch my mic off so I don't glitch it out. Here we go. We're going to roll the next dice game. I think last time there was a six, so Freddy's 500 points. We're trying to catch up. Here it goes. Oh, five and three. Five and three. I have a four. Oh, Charlie. Charlie, you have 500 points now, too. Yeah. You and uh, Freddy are tied now, Charlie. You guys both have 500 points. I'm going to see if uh, you can come back. We'll try to come back. I thought Freddy had a four. No, um, Freddy has a six. Oh, a six. A six. Right. This is uh, a place called Harold's Mini Mart. It's in the same city as Ed's Mini Mart. Maybe the people are just, they're just naming their stores after themselves pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good way to go. I think even some of them, we don't even realize that that's what it is, like Arby's and McDonald's. Hi. Do you guys have hard-boiled eggs right now, like in a package? Huh? Do you guys have any of those pre-packaged hard-boiled eggs right now? I cannot hear you. I don't know what you say. Do you have any pre-packaged hard-boiled eggs? Uh, boiled eggs? Yes. No, I don't think. I don't have it. Uh, how about hot dogs? No, I don't either. Oh, okay. What do you guys got there? Like chips and stuff or what? No, nothing. We don't have nothing in food. Uh, what kind of food do you got? Do you have like chips? We don't have, we don't sell food. We don't sell it. Oh, uh, what is this? Is it a gas station? Yeah, it's a gas station. Uh, we don't have hot dog. We have no, nothing. We only sandwich. Chicken sandwich, that's it. Oh, you, you have chicken? Chicken huh? sandwich? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello? Oh, okay. yeah. Thank you. Hello? We don't have any food whatsoever. <laughs> None. Stop this asking. Only no. chicken sandwiches. We just have chicken sandwiches. <laughs> well, oh, why would you only have chicken sandwiches? These are not the chicken sandwiches you're looking for. <laughs> why would you only have chicken sandwiches? <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. Ham, ham, ham sandwiches? <laughs> Turkey? This item right here, that's called not food. They should, yeah, I mean, they, call, they call it Soul Harold's Mini Mart, but they should just call it chicken sandwiches and gas. That would be, I don't know. They may not be allowed to call their chicken sandwiches food. If so every it, once in a while, you bad. like, Charlie, the walk on your legs, like, ow, 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 yeah, Charlie, I, ow. It's exciting. <laughs> I'm always trying to get him to come up to the mic. Oh, me. It's exciting. <laughs> Come on, Charlie, get on up here. Yeah, where's your sense you know, of I saw Charlie do this thing one time where you get up on the couch. Yeah, yeah like, like a goat. Yeah, yeah like a goat. Were you there for that call? Yes, episode 888. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was episode 888. That was a good one. Whoa, you whoa, whoa, you, you saw it too then, huh? Uh, uh, I was here as well. Well, I know, because you set up the, the foil lettering. Yeah. yeah, I think that's still back here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. There it is. There it is. Wow. Like, kind of obscured, but yeah, still. Yeah, there's a rainbow unicorn. Charlie! Oh, I spilled, what is it? I spilled rice uh, for my burrito. Oh. My crotch. Oh, he wants to, <laughs> he wants to bite. Oh, is he biting your crotch? He, he wants no, he's biting me. Yeah, he's biting a Carl. Oh, okay. Uh, you're yanking him around a lot. Uh, it's almost going to be April. Do you, ha do you have any? Or, wait, I'm oh, April. Oh, yeah. yeah. Today's the last day of March, so uh, that's actually April now. We've just yeah, gotten happy, into... Happy April. Oh, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah, we just got into my birthday. If you're watching this, happy birthday to myself in the future. Yeah, congratulations. You really did make it. Um, yeah. Awkwardness. I, Why? Well, that just came out of, like, out of the blue. So oh, yeah, it's my birthday. Does that make it awkward? <laughs> At the halfway through the program. Yeah, Carl doesn't like surprises. 
Oh, oh, that's right. Well, it, when it's 1201, yeah. that's yeah. your... Yeah. It's tomorrow. Hello, uh, happy it's birthday, tomorrow I mean. Now. This is, uh... Wow. Well. <laughs> the song is copyrighted, though. But it, now it's April, too. Um, and I'm not lying. I'm not making this up because it's April Fool's Day. You know, some people say, you know, like, is it really? Are you making this up because it's, it's April Fool's Day? But yeah. it, it's not... I'm an April Fool. Well, well, April Fool's is actually going to happen on the Monday, so... Yes, it is. Th there are going to be some people that are going to be unfairly tricked. It has just started, so maybe you guys, you can, if you, if you, uh, start your pranks early, you can do them right at midnight. Maybe that'll be a good time to do a prank, because people won't think about it until the next day, so until yeah. they wake up. So if you do your pranks right at midnight... People will be like, what? Why? Why are you pranking me? And then be like, oh, you know, you didn't, they didn't even think about it. Either that or right now, if you haven't set up a good prank, you know, maybe it's time to get going. You know, you only have uh, a whole night and then you got to get it ready. So uh, tell us about it. If you if you did something, you tricked someone real good, you made them think something happened or something was about to happen and then it didn't happen. Don't tease the dog. And then you can trick them. them, maybe you know, mess fools. with people's... Uh, you know. I'm, I'm just doing you a favor so you can actually eat your burrito without <laughs> well, it's being okay. I'm not like bothered. shadowed. I'm not bothered. I need help with the dry. I'm well, I would be bothered. It's like, dude, dog, get away. I'm, I'm not bothered. I'm trying to eat. I'm dog. fine. I'm trying to eat. I'm hungry. I'm fine. Hell yeah, dog. Okay, well. I'm going to get a meatloaf, I think, instead of a cake. For dude, like I a guess, Kenny, you're just like not me. <laughs> 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 yeah, are you thinking mashed potatoes for frosting? Yeah, mashed potato frosting and meatloaf cake. And, you know, I, I kind of mentioned the idea to Jean upstairs, and she said something about uh, using ketchup for the writing. The, uh, oh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, so that I think that sounds like quite a cake. Yeah. I'm going to get that going. That'll be a good time there. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I'm just watching Charlie. I'm so... Uh, Perpetually entertained <laughs> that he, he he thinks you think he, he thinks he's gonna get some. You know, but I figured out with you Charlie. Know, that, that's really expensive dog food. It is. I think that Charlie, though, he he definitely is slightly begging. But I think Charlie just his favorite thing in the whole world is food. So even if someone else is eating food, he would just rather be there, kind of watching them. You know, he's like. <laughs> You'd rather see the whole thing go down and like, oh yeah, okay, that's good. That looks like a good part. That, <laughs> yeah, I bet you enjoy that. And then if anything falls, you know, then that's his territory. He knows that. Yeah. He knows that humans yeah. don't get on the floor and eat that stuff. So he's waiting for it. Yeah, but uh, I think I think really even if he didn't get anything, he probably enjoys watching other people eat food just uh, more than not doing that. Maybe. Do you guys have anything in April that you like to do? April, 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 April. Well, where's the calendar? Let's see. Am I sitting on it? Uh, April sixth. That means pretty soon this Saturday is going to be the uh, the the live special at uh, five o'clock, I think. Yes. So if you tune Something in, something like that. Um, if you tune in this Saturday <coughs> at five o'clock, that's in a couple of days here. You can uh, watch us live, live, and call the number. You can get on live TV, and you can you can hear yourself call. You can do this thing. You can if you call the phone and like hold your phone up to the TV, it'll do a loop. Yeah, it's a little time delay on when it's actually live. Oh, I'm sitting <laughs> on the counter. Oh, it's time live for, live. We're gonna it's live time live. for a commercial break. Oh, it's almost time for a commercial break. Four, three, two. two. We'll be back. Now it's time for a commercial break. Dance, holy dance. Dance, holy dance. Nom, nom, nom. First Friday of each month, it, 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 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCP yes. Studio A, 440 Yarder Way. Oh yeah! Coming up tomorrow on the program. It's Monday. Once again, for a whole hour, watch out. Who's what's coming up?
Yeah! Yeah! Hey everybody, it's the commercial. Here it, we are. It's us. But hey! Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. <laughs> it's it's the Mills. That's right. We got the gang back together. Yeah, we're here. We talked to these guys. We talked to Cedar <laughs> in Pittsburgh. We did. And we talked to uh, other people. Charlie has a bone. We talked about uh, uh, the McChicken. I completely forgot to cover all the science. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Your daily out with me. Oh, we're rough. Whoa, what? Whoa, it's Easter Bunny. I think the lamps are broken, maybe. I'm looking at the schedule for April here, and there's only there's only one one scheduled holiday on the calendar, and it's Administrative Professionals Day, which is the fancy word for Secretary's Day. Other than that, it's going to be Walpurgis Knot, which is a Satanist holiday. Now I had to write in here myself that uh the uh oh the lamps busted now. Walpurgis well, Knot is a Satanist holiday that um, uh, Antichrist told us about, and we might be celebrating that. I'm not really sure how we're going to do that, though, but that's not for another, uh, that's not until the very end of the month. Uh-oh. Oh, well, Charlie got the couch spot. You got to get back there now. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, you got a message of some sort. Oh, uh, somebody's trying to call us. Oh, John, John tried to call us back. Let's that's call him. Sweet. Yeah. Here we go. Let's call John. Do it. Do it now! Get to the chopper! Uh. Calling John for an early back. He can tell us about his trip. Hello? Hey, John! Hey. Hey, how was that soup? It's big good soup. Did you make it yourself? No, I went to bamboo. Oh, it was like a, what's that, pho, was it pho? No, it wasn't pho. I normally get Tom Kaga when I am sick. Uh-huh. But for some reason, like, I don't, I just want, like, really bland stuff right now. But I got this other soup. It was perfect. It, it was like a chicken, just like a normal chicken soup. But it, it, it was good. Do you have uh, Easter traditions? Uh, back home, like when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good job. Yeah, we uh, wake up and have breakfast and do Easter egg hunts. And then my mom would always like hide these, like in the eggs. They'd be little plastic eggs. Uh huh. Um, the last one would have a clue, and then it would like be a riddle, and you'd have to go find the next clue. And you'd find a bunch of clues, and then at the end you'd get a present. It was like scavenger hunt and egg hunt combined. Yeah. That sounds good. How about? Do you guys eat ham? Um, no, ham was never a big deal. We didn't. That wasn't like a thing. And do you do anything for Easter now that uh, you're out of your parents' house? Um, the well, last. Last year, I, was, I forgot about all holidays, but before that, um, my friends had a, a beer stir egg hunt where they painted beer cans like Easter eggs oh, and then like hid them, and, and then we had breakfast. So they don't celebrate Easter in China? Um, I don't I know if they do. Western I didn't. I don't think it's very popular. Is there? It is. Is there a Christianity? Is there Christianity popular in China? No. Well, it, may, it might be. Well, uh, yeah. Christ, Christianity kind of is more of a Western religion. Oh well, sometimes, but those they've spread maybe. What did John? Well, well, asking John about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, but it's 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 the evolution of we're we're talking like generations. So people don't move around in one generation. It takes uh, multiple generations for people to migrate from continent to continent. Uh, John, what do you think? I mean, Christianity is getting pretty popular in China. Technically, like, according to the government, religion is, like, kind of outlawed, and, like, religion shouldn't really exist, but 
Um, I, I talked to this one guy who like studies religion. He was like a Chinese guy, and he studies like different religions and stuff like that. And he was telling me about how Christianity is becoming more and more popular. Christianity is like really popular in South Korea, mm. so that kind of makes sense. But it would kind of come over to China. Well, yeah, I, I guess the, that that would happen because uh, you know we have armed forces in South Korea. Yeah. What about um, is there mm. a, is there a Chinese religion? I don't like. No, it's religion is kind of outlawed. Yeah, but I mean, was there an old one? Like I don't know. I know there's like Shinto and like. Like Sikhs Sikh and stuff. I don't know if they're trying. If there's like a. Well, it did. Like Buddhism. Buddhism is is the is the pr pr predominant one now. Well, that's more of India, but I mean they have you know like various like Taoist or you know. Um, uh, oh, Dao lost yeah, Taoist. Yeah. Yeah, Taoist. I, I mean Buddhism well, is more central India. Like Central Asia more than the Far East. Yeah. I mean, all the most all the temples you see around China are all like they're mostly Buddhist. Like you go anywhere and you'll find like ten or twenty different Buddhist temples in like any city, and then you might find like two or th two or three Taoist temples. Um, but also like Con Confucianism was like kind of a religion because it like started as these teachings and then also associated with like ancestor worship and then there are also like a couple like a few Confucian temples Whoa. so it kind of turned into like a religion too yeah he was yeah philosophizer lots of uh, yeah those uh, proverbs I'm gonna throw one of those at the yeah. camera well, oh, you see, is there any uh, news? You know, guys, nobody news. John, maybe. Um, no, I don't know about any news. I haven't left my house in like three days. Whoa! Oh, right at the TV. <laughs> <damn>. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have you been watching TV, or what? What do you do when you're sick at, at home? What are your sick activities? Yeah, I've pretty much just been watching TV. It's like it's really kind of kind of sucks. I haven't done anything else. You seen anything good? Not really. Whoa. Oh, Charlie. Oh, do you like NyQuil? Good grief, man. What? Do you like NyQuil? NyQuil? NyQuil. Alka Seltzer? No, I don't have any NyQuil. Yeah. Theraflu? I like Theraflu. That's my. That's my. That's Alka Seltzer? The one you do when you get sick? Yeah. Actually, what I do. Uh, when I get sick, is I uh, I take apple cider vinegar, and honey, uh, and cayenne pepper, and uh, boil some water, and then put it in there. Put them together, mix it up, and then drink it. And it uh, ooh. It's very good. It heals me. Is that harsh? What though? the heck? Kind of harsh, yeah. I you probably need to get that recipe. You want? Yeah. Have you tried that, John? Any of that kind of thing? Yeah, I've been doing that. Well, not exactly like that. I'll just take a shot of apple cider vinegar, and I've been putting honey in tea. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to avoid cayenne, because um, sometimes when I'm sick, I'll, like, just try and eat a bunch of spicy stuff. But this time, I ate a bunch of spicy stuff, and I think it made it worse. Uh, so don't let John chew on the egg. Stuff this time. I'll get it. You, what? Your child's chewing on the egg. Um... Vine vinegar is not super gross to take a shot of, is, is it not? Yeah. It, it is? You think um, so? Hold on, sec. Okay. Well, we're holding on, I guess. What? I never tried to take a shot of vinegar before. Have you ever tr tried to drink vinegar? Yeah. Mm. Carl? Mm. <coughs> I uh, don't do that. Do what I use that? vinegar for is actually for laundry. Uh, you put your I, vinegar in your laundry. Yeah. I just got back. Who told you to do that? Um, well, yeah. uh, vi vinegar is like a cleaning solution. Um, really? Actually, I uh, well, yeah, especially if you mix it with alcohol. Not, I've used it uh, for windows, too. Yeah. Right. Um, Doesn't it smell? Yeah. Wouldn't that make your clothes smell? Like, 
n not if you put it in just yeah, the washer yeah, and then it, it once you dry it out, you know, you cool. fabric soft or there. whatnot. And yeah. Vinegar's a strong smell to me. I liked it. I, I since I was a kid, I've always liked to eat vinegar. Um, sure. Like my uh, grandma really? made this uh, uh, vinegar. It's like might have been red wine vinegar hey. or like some kind of red vinegar. You know, like fancy vinegar. Hello? Yes, balsamic? <coughs> Not balsamic. Hey, can, hey, John, we're here. We're talking about vinegar still. And we're about to play the dice game oh. one more time. You still got the four, right? You're on team four? Okay, what what dice do I roll that hasn't yeah. been rolled yet? Oh, I don't know. It was six, six <coughs> okay. five, and six, three. Okay, six, five, and three is what we got so far. We're going to roll All three right. dice. Let's see how it goes. The last roll of the game, so... Oh, oh my Charlie. gosh. Charlie. Two Charlie's more trees. Charlie, you got it. You got 1,500 points. Charlie, you won big time. Big time, Charlie. What do you think about that? Oh, he looks happy. That's good. Charlie's happy to win. Yeah. Happy we, time. We lost, John. I, had a, I was on team four also. Red, three more threes. It was red wine vinegar. And, uh, well, three with threes total. Drink it by the spoonful. I just really liked it. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. oh, Lord. That lamp is dead today. That's why he needs a doggy bed, bro. No. <laughs> it's exciting. Um, no. I, I knew this guy who ha was allergic to vinegar, and then he would, as a, a, a bad joke, he would put some on his lips, and then uh, just, like, do, like, a fish thing, and just be like, bleh, bleh, just got vinegar. It was kind of scary. I don't know if he's ever going to get sick from that. He, he seemed to turn out okay, I guess. What? Did I win? No, you lost. We lost. I was on Team 4, too. Charlie won with 1,500 points. I um I I don't know that vinegar is really that bad, especially when, when you're uh you know the laundry goes anyway, through I can't, multiple. You're really, you're really breaking up now. I can like hardly hear you, so I'm gonna hang up. Uh, okay, thanks, John. We'll see you maybe in two weeks, or maybe you can come next Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. The washer goes through multiple rinse cycles. Uh -huh. So. But it just seems strong. It seems strong to me. Well, that's what it's got to be to get rid of the dirt. Hey, yeah. come on over after you do. I do my laundry. You can you smell, do, smell your laundry. You know, come I, over and come on over to Carl's house after cool. Carl does his laundry. That sounds. I mean, you have, you've mm. always smelled good, so I I think it oh, must be working. What? The laundry's doing its job. Or the vinegar's yeah, doing I've, its job. I hope you're not coming on to me, Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <yet, not> <laughs> You'll know. <laughs> Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, let's give Dan another call. Last time we tried to call him, it was the phone was busy. Oh yeah, that means he's talking on the phone. Let's see if it's uh back, if he's back yet. Oh, you, you can pass me that root beer. Sure. This mic, if I move even a split second of an inch, it, it will uh. Oh no, Dan, so busy on the phone. Wow. Let's call some McDonald's, I guess. We'll call. Anything for a partner. We'll call, we'll call Cal. <laughs> uh, John, wait, John left us a voicemail? Oh, wait, no, Cal, we're not married yet. <laughs> Bird left a voicemail, too. Let's we're try to be married, but... We should try to... Uh, maybe another lifetime. Yeah, Bird is calling, too. Is that what you said? Yeah, he left a long message. Maybe we should just call him. Uh, maybe we, we can we'll we'll listen to his message here. Yeah, too bad. Can we listen to it and call him at the same time, or is that two mm, separate things? No, sides? yeah, it's two things. Here, we're, we're, we're listening to it. Hey program, hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, I hope you're having a good program down there. I'm looking outside at the moon right now. It's really beautiful. Uh, I saw somebody uh, write something that the moon looks like a pearl in an oyster. What? Mm. I'll leave you with that thought. Mm. I hope you're having a really good program. Uh, happy Easter. Uh, give Jesus a what up for me. And uh, peace to the world. Yeah. And uh, come on, you know, back everyone the bed, Jesus. of all religions and love and happiness, harmony, truth, and uh, understanding. Other stuff. Those are some positive words. Well, I hope you're having a really good love. program, and uh, maybe I'll see you really soon. That'd be nice. Bye. Goodness, peace, love, understanding, wellness, unity, health. Uh, prosperity. Justice. Adam Bomb. <laughs> no, no. You know, when I look up at this guy, I think that no, uh, no. the moon looks like a giant egg. I think it looks like a baseball. In 
An oyster. It looks like a baseball in your, in the final, uh, out of your, against home team's ball. <laughs> <laughs> when I see the moon, I see an atom bomb. Oh. oh. No, oh, Carl. No, no, no. Come on. My love is an atom bomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah Bert, Bert's inspiring poetry in us here. <laughs> we're calling Bert back. Let's also call some McDonald's while we're... Uh, yeah, call California McDonald's, I guess it's Death Valley again. God, I want to try one of them strawberry pies. They have them. I didn't like them too Let's much. Let's go to Sacramento, bro. I actually don't. Oh, yeah, I know yeah. the route. <laughs> I know the route, bro. I, I don't, I actually don't recommend the strawberry pies. No? Yeah, they, they, they taste like jelly, it's like jelly. I, I, I like the apple pie better. I was thinking it'd be some kind of a strawberry tart, you know. Okay. Sorry, I missed your call. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Hey, Bird, this is the program. I think the egg, I mean the moon, looks like a giant egg in the womb of space. Call us back. And time. Uh, you have about five minutes, actually, so I don't yeah, know if you can make it. Yeah, getting down to it, but thanks for helping us on the show, giving us a call and spreading the good peace words. Yeah, so. we're going to be calling some McDonald's here, so. All right, we'll give them some nice thoughts as well. I ask them how they're doing, see what it's, it's like to be in the spot where they are and... Uh, how you doing there? Yeah, what's how, how you, you doing? doing? How you do? How you do? Here we go, this is uh, Ridgecrest, California. Right next to Death Valley. Ooh, you, you know that? Yes. Yeah. Wow. I like, uh, yeah, that's a good spot. They got a hot springs in their, their secret hot springs. Secret. Ooh. Yeah, secret. Mm. It's mm. not so secret, I guess. Thank you for calling McDonald's. Have you speaking? Difficult. Hi, McDonald's. Do you guys have the uh, strawberry pies yet? Yeah, we have strawberry cream pies. Oh, it's a, it's strawberry cream. Yeah. Is it like jelly? Huh? What kind of cream? Is it like whipped cream or is it like gel, like jelly in there? Last year it was jelly. You know if they changed it from last year? Sorry, what? What was that? Do you know if they changed it from last year? Because last year, it was, I thought it was the strawberry jelly pies. The mix in it, it should be like, it, it's like real fruit, but um, kind of like the preserves almost. Yeah, what, what, why is it called cream? Is there, is there whipped cream in there too? Oh, like we have a, uh, no, it's like kind of like, you know, um, cheesecake almost. Ah. Mm. Like, is that that kind of cream? Is it solid or is it kind of like a liquid cream, like a kind of medium jelly it's, kind of cream? It's it's a thick, a thick creamy. It's like thick, but it's it's like kind of like a liquid, like like if you if you break open the pie and like hold it upside down, is it gonna drip out or you think it's gonna like hold its shape? No, it'll it hold, doesn't drip out. It's solid. It'll hold up in there. I mean, it, I'm sorry. It wouldn't drip. It doesn't like drip real slow though. What if I hold it up for like a minute or two? <laughs> Um, no, it's not going to drip out. Oh, great, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. What if you squeeze it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we have one minute left. I can't wait till you watch the program. You, you know, like, you rewind the tape and you see uh, two bubble heads going up and down yes. left and right. Yes. <laughs> As you were talking to the... the uh, um, McDonald's? McDonald's, yeah. And finding out about the strawberry pies has indeed happened. Thanks, uh, Freddie and Carl and Jesus <laughs> and uh, Easter eggs. Charlie and eggs. Yeah. I don't know who invented Easter eggs. Thanks. Did and you say John? Other you said John. Eggs. Yeah, Sorry. thanks, John. Thanks, Bert. Oh, and chicken soup. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Lisa. chickens. What? Thanks for making those eggs. Thanks, taco truck. Oh, and, and chicken sandwiches. Thanks, Ocean. <laughs> thanks, Dex. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, computer. Thank you, Tides. Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube is awesome. Thank you, Gold. Also, phones and televisions. And Yeah. And crews. And clouds. Thanks, crew. You guys want to be on the crew? You have to do it in Canada if you want them. Call that number. In motion for Hi, property. Jackpot. Thanks, Karate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Thanks, TCTV. Yeah. Thanks, Thurston County. Thanks, uh, Washington State. Seal. Thanks, Seals. USA! Flag. 
That's you, Charlie. That's you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Goodbye. Well, it's pretty nice. Oh, that's pretty nice.